Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. Resident Evil Zero, where last time we found out a ton about Billy's backstory, assuming he's telling the truth. We found out that Albert and William are still bastards, but seem to know who is behind all this. Albert's about to go lure the stars into the Arkley Mansion, and William's about to blow us up, even though he doesn't know we're here, probably. And uh, we also had to save Becky. And we were introduced to some really obnoxious enemies who used to be behind this door. A little bit of a confession here. Given my limited healing capabilities, I kind of decided to off-screen these until I got the cleanest kill. I'll put that clip down in the bottom corner. But it took... Let's see here. It took five grenades to put down three of those T-Virus monkeys. I kind of got lucky and didn't take much damage and like I'm saving this immediately and we'll just pick up the episode here. And hopefully that trend continues because I'm gonna head back upstairs. Actually Billy, why don't, why don't you go upstairs? I'll put the gun on you. Uh, why don't you lead the way upstairs? On your way down to save me Billy, there was a room that I saw that you didn't go into. It's in the spider hallway, which is gonna be a ton of fun, oh my god. Um, I want to go explore it. I want to see if there's anything good behind it. So let's go do that. I'm going to leave this healing for now, even though I complain about healing all the time. I'm going to try to take out this lone zombie that Billy ran past. Hopefully without taking damage. How bad did you get hit? I already cautioned. Really? <sighs> Alright, well, let me go deal with my inventory stuff, and uh, I'll be back when we're about to go down into the spider tunnel. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Damn it. Becky, why can't you take a hit? All right, seeing a few. Okay, um, I've gone ahead and put the shotgun back on Billy. He's still carrying the grenade launcher, but I'm not going to use that at the moment. And I'm carrying the two blue herbs with Rebecca in case I get poisoned. Because spiders are awful. And remember when I said that, like, if you shoot them off the walls or ceilings, they'll die instantly? That's only if they fall off the walls or ceiling. If they don't, you can shoot them and shoot them, and they take the same amount of damage. Okay, did I get poisoned? I did not. I'm still fine. Alright. Uh... See if I can sneak in this door without dealing with you. Good. Goodbye to your head. I heard you shuffling. And I just don't trust you. You look like you're a trap. You don't have any blood around you. Although there are a ton of bullets, some gasoline. This is an interesting one. I hear you grunting. Haha! -ha, I knew it. Okay. You got 52 bullets. How many bullets are right here? Oops, no. Pick up all the bullets. Yes, take that. And that. And also those. And that gives you... Wow! I said 52, that gave you 45. Wow. 
real happy with that. And some shotgun shells. Billy, you can have these. How many is here? Four in reserve. That gives you... That was seven. Nice. And then... Yeah, we'll take the gasoline, even though I don't have any bottles. The door is busted. It appears as though it was used as a message board. Is this one really after? Can I get it? Yes, take the gas tank. Alright, and... I like how you're still twitching. Uh, I suspect I know it's behind this door. Yeah. That's the torture chamber. I'm not going back in there. In fact, it looks like we're pretty much done with this side entirely, so... Let's just run. Hopefully we don't get poisoned on the way back. Come on, Billy. <sighs> Spider, you can live down here forever for all I care. I do not care about you at all anymore. Spider, you, you own that part of the mansion. That's all yours. <sighs> but still, like, all that ammo was totally worth it. Um, Let's drop... Drop that. I'm gonna drop one of those. Ooh, it just occurred to me. Uh, there's a green and a blue herb, and I kind of want it. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. I mean, worst case scenario. I get poison and I use them there, but at least I'm not leaving them behind. I forgot that I definitely, I definitely left that green and blue herb right outside the torture chamber and I kind of do want that. Alright, spider, we're in a live and let live situation here. Actually... You stay here. Okay. Actually... Why don't I do this the smart way? I don't know why I did this. <gasps> Monkeys! You know what? Fuck that green and blue herb. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. This way. Roger. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Screw it. There's two green herbs and a blue herb in the boiler room. That'll have to do. I'm not dealing with those fucking monkeys. Alright. Well, damn. Okay. I mean, it occurred to me, like, when I was going through there that I, you know, I left a person with actual inventory space behind. Probably genius big brain move on my part. I hate dealing... With the basement. It sucks so bad. I mean, it's like the... It's not like there's a boss fight here. It's like the worst part of the mansion that's left. Uh, ugh, I, I kind of wish I wasn't dealing with this right now. I at least wish I had a map. I don't know where the map of the area is. Alright, well, we got the stuff. This is a puzzle I'll do in a little bit. Actually, gonna take Billy. Hang on, you have. I want to equip your pistol, your shotgun again. 
There's still more spiders to deal with, Billy. Let's go down this hallway that you went before you rescued me. Poison me? You did. Okay. Good thing I carried this. Exchange. For your gun. Swap back. Use. Exchange. Your gun back. Good. Always cure poison ASAP. It's not a, it's not like critical. Ow! But the fact that it prevents you from seeing your health is really obnoxious. Okay, that went real well. Is there another spider over here? It doesn't look like it. All right, um, let's equip this. Because I kind of stumbled in this door, I already know that there is a pair of lurkers behind here. But the thing that they're guarding is quite good. I want Rebecca to have that. Take the locker key? Absolutely. This is an entirely optional op uh, item, but it is absolutely worth the trouble of coming to get. Shotgun back on. Hopefully I'll be able to show you what it does fairly soon. I don't remember exactly where you use it. I think it's close. We'll find out. What is this? I think I briefly came here and then I realized I was going the wrong way. Oh, shoot. Do I want to do this right now? No. These guns have been taken apart. Parts and gunpowder lie scattered all over the place. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take the handgun ammo because holy shit. Yes. It's probably another 30 right there. And shotgun ammo, if you please. This weapon looks like it's being repaired when the parts is missing, rendering it useless. Actually, is this where I might use that key? Uh, Rebecca? Also, there's a shiny thing in there. What's in there? There's something shiny behind that door. There it is. Take the Magnum ammo? Yeah. And that's our first big hint that the Magnum's gonna be a thing. It's locked. Oops, no. Uh, this is where I need to use the locker key, cool. Go ahead and use that. And we get a briefcase. Take the Dur Alumin case? Yes. Now, you might be wondering, like, how are we going to get into this? What's the combination? Does it have a combination? It does. You can see the lock. But if we examine it, it's locked via a combination lock. Looking closely, you can notice the numbers 385 written in the corner. All right. So let's turn the dial. Three. Eight. I love the fact that it turns on the briefcase. That's a nice touch. Five. The lock is opened. There is something inside. You take the handgun parts. You absolutely want this. And you want to put it on Billy's army weapon. So let's make sure that I've given that to Rebecca. 
Standard army issue handgun, yes. All right, so we can make this gun even more powerful. Custom to bust. All right, does it should give us anything else? A custom handgun that's been fitted with a scope for greater accuracy. These modifications should make it easier to hit a target's weak points. Now that you've modified it, it's more powerful and it fires faster. Really, really good for Rebecca. Since she's going to be my pistol specialist for the longest time. As for this room... There's a control panel here. Press a button. No, let's not touch it. I'm not going to do this yet. I'm going to wait. This is another mandatory split up section. Before I tackle that, I want to save. I'm pretty sure like, yeah. You got to bring somebody in here. Ooh. Somebody's might be getting acid rounds soon. That's good to know. But I want to go explore this other part. I know I'm running back and forth as my curiosity takes me and this isn't the most efficient way to do things. On the other hand, having that upgrade is going to be really nice. Clearing out most of this area is going to be really nice. And honestly, I don't think there's too much left to do in this place. I mean, I haven't got a map of it, but we've kind of, you know, explored everything. So, you know. All right, now here is one of the most challenging puzzles in the game, and honestly, I'm not sure I'm going to do this right. Six souls imprisoned within the chains of death. Rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. So basically you have to take them, you have to relight them in order that they'll kill each other. And they give you hints. Let's see. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. Alright. So the, they all have a hint on what they will do. I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. I stand tall on the earth, with horns proudly displayed. Okay, so that doesn't say what it kills. So I'm probably going to start with that. I creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. I am the king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. Okay. So, uh, let's see. I think we start with the deer. It's like the most you're going to use the lighter here. Stand tall on earth with horns probably displayed. The wolf takes down the deer. Right? Where's the wolf? My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. So we'll use... We'll light the wolf. Now the horse, I think, is next. Because it said something about cunning. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. Oop, I didn't want to do that. And then I think it's going to be lion, snake, eagle. I am the king of all I survive. No creature can escape my grasp. So this is saying that... Uh, it conquers speed. Then the snake specifically said, I bring down kings with my poison. 
Yeah, creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. So we'll light that next. And then the eagle. Because... I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. The snake is the only thing that's legless. And there we go. Apparently some people really have trouble with this puzzle, but if you pay attention to what they're saying and how they say it, it's actually not that bad. I actually kind of like it. Alright, let's explore this door first. Okay. Ooh, we got bottles to make Molotovs with. An old dust, there doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Alright, I can't carry that. You've got two slots, okay. That might be enough for the time being. Take the empty bottle. Most importantly, this is a key item over here. Take this tablet. Take the Unity tablet, yes. You're gonna want this. And given my paranoia, is there gonna be an ambush for it? I don't think so. Is that all there is to this room? Seems to be. is through this other door. These are suspiciously quiet doors. Not sure I approve. My paranoia is reaching an all-time high. Got my finger on the... Yep. could have been real bad that could have been real real bad but it went real real well so I can't complain this new pistol is gonna be great oh uh, this is almost this is basically her penultimate weapon here management trainees diary what is it that director Marcus is researching all the time and what's with this weird interest in leeches interest seems more like love at times Rumor has it there's something dangerous about those leeches. It is true that when Dennis just touched one, he got ill with a fever. Again today, there were those horrible moans beyond that door. Let sleeping dogs. No way I'll go near them. Even if the director ordered me, I don't want to end up like Dennis. The poor bastard. Scratching and scratching makes me itch just watching him. Oh, sorry. Just watching him. Must maybe go if can, but who... Dennis gone, I go hungry. Help, mom. So just like Resident Evil 1, we're getting an insight into somebody's descent into being a zombie, and his last thoughts are of his mother. Escape and his mother. It's a wooden box inside of various gadgets and gizmos. So it looks like this room is basically just for flavor, but I definitely recommend memos like that. Memos like that are some of my favorite. They're the great, greatest bit of world building and immersion that Resident Evil has to offer. You don't get too many insights into what happens to people who become zombies. But, you know, there's just enough where it's, it makes it like, it just makes it head home. Maybe, at least for me. Maybe I'm a little silly. I don't know. But, um, let's see, I think we only have one place left to go, and that is going to be over that room I don't want to do, because I know what's, gonna, what's waiting for me. Anyway, so in that case, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here, take a save, and uh, yeah, actually quite a bit of progress. I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you guys for coming out and joining me today. As always, I appreciate it. 
If you enjoyed what you saw, give me a like, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.